Hey, how many of you guys know what this Tuesday is? That's right, it is Valentine's Day. It's the day where you get boxes of chocolate and flowers and Cupid draws back his bow and shoots it. But today, I wanna say uh, a couple things about love. Today's blog is about the Lord being close to the brokenhearted. So what happens when you're not feeling this romantic, amazing uh, Cupid kind of love but you're broken hearted. Your heart is, is broken because of the pain of life. And so Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is close to the broken hearted and he rescues those with a crushed spirit. And so today I want to come to you saying like maybe Tuesday is going to be an amazing day for you. You're going to line up all the things and you're in that place in life. But maybe it's not. How can we still experience the love of God when all the little things in life don't line up? just right. Well, here's the good news. The Bible says the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he rescues those with a crushed spirit. See, God's specialty is when we're in a place of brokenness, he will come and rescue us and help us. So basically, Jesus came because the whole world was in brokenness. We had fallen to our sins and we were in brokenness and we needed help. And so God so loved the world, he sent his one and only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. That's the reason Jesus came. Jesus came because we're in a broken world. And in a broken world, bad things happen. People mistreat one another. Um, and, and there's so much to it. And the Bible says we have a Savior that can relate to us in every way. Jesus knew what it was like to go through uh, brokenness because he had people betray him. He was himself wrongly accused and sent to a cross. He knew what it was like to uh, have people hate him. And, and he understands what we go through. He understands the trials we went through. Jesus, the last mention of Jesus' father was when he was 12 years old. He knows what it was to go through life without a father. And so, um, you know, as we look at at Jesus today, we recognize that, that God is close to the brokenhearted and he rescues those with a crushed spirit. When we're going through trials, that's the very reason Jesus came. He came to bring us hope and to comfort us in our times of trouble. So this Tuesday, if this Tuesday to you is not like the perfect, like Cupid kind of day, then I just want you to know that welcome to the real world, right? It doesn't always go that way. Sometimes we have hurts. Sometimes we have trials. Sometimes we have things that just make us not want to celebrate. And the good news is that in moments like that, God loves you and he comes near to you. He comes running after you and he wants to help and hope you, help you and bring hope to you. And so I want to just encourage you in that today. That if you're in a place of brokenness and your heart is broken, Jesus wants to come in and be your heart healer. The Bible says he's close to the brokenhearted and he rescues those with a crushed spirit. So cry out to him today and let him be your help and your hope. Now, if you're watching this before Sunday, good news. Super Bowl Sunday, we're going to have football Sunday at church. If you um, are uh, a Chiefs fan... Awesome. If you're an Eagles fan, awesome. It doesn't matter. But whatever team you're a fan of, uh, even if it's a Yukon or whatever, just wear your gear and you'll get a free bag of chips on Sunday that you can take home to eat for the big game. We're just going to have a lot of fun on Sunday. Have a great church service. So I invite you to join us at Living Proof Church, 9 a.m. and 1045 on this Sunday morning. God bless you guys and thanks for listening.